So, the next Pokemon we have to build around, uh, Pokemon Master, sent some bits, so we would use Mineshout. Mineshout. So, Mineshout's a very good Pokemon. I've been saying this Pokemon's been very good for for a while. Uh, it's one of the best Fake Out users, gets Regenerator, I think it's Inner Focus, great typing, Fake Out, Faint, Ally Switch, Wide Guard. This Pokemon gets so many good moves, and it's highly underrated, I would say. I would say this Pokemon is highly underrated. I think I want to go with, like, a double Fake Out core. So, like, I'm gonna have Mineshout with Fake Out, right? I'm gonna go, uh, or, uh, or, uh, what's that Pokemon called? Togemar. I want the typing here. I really like this typing. Tokemaru's steel typing can really, like, cover up with the fact that Mineshout's weak against, like, Fairy and stuff like that. Fairy and Psychic. Format is this form. This is for VGC 2020. So, we've got those two right there. Double Fake Out. Amazing. I'm gonna need something to take away Lele terrains. So, I'm thinking, like, I potentially might want to use a Feeny here. Or a Coco. I think I'm actually going to go the Coco route. And then we're going to go Lando. So you can see we have a little bit of a core here that's very, very solid. Not that Lando. And then I just need Restrictamons. Um, what Restrictamons do I want to use? So this is our team. It's built around Mineshout, but you're going to see some cool stuff that we can put together with this. Uh, we're going to start adding moves. We're going to add items and stuff later. So we always want Fake Out on this guy. Fake Out is like the best move. We're also going to add Fake Out here. Ah, not Facade. LOL. Um, I know I want U-Turn. I kind of want to put Wide Guard, but it's like still up in the air. High Jump Kick's okay, but uh, I don't want to miss, you know? High Jump Kick's a really all in play and like what am i high jump kicking you know what are you high jump kicking that's the that's the real issue there what are you hitting with high jump kick it's a very unique choice in this moves but it does it does enough i don't know if i want protect there then that's the move there it is yeah i was faint that's what i wanted those work work on that in a minute I don't know if I want Encore, though. Yeah, that works. I think I want the lightning rod here. Yeah, so I don't know what my item's gonna be yet. I haven't decided. I'm gonna try an air balloon here. I think I actually can make that work. Nah, let's just put a vest. Vest is fine. Vest was the original idea. I think Nuzzle's better than Zing Zap because 100% para. 100%. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. move on as Coco is. Mess with that in a minute. Ah! What did I just do? Full screen myself? Alright. Is that value on a scarf set? Yeah. It could be. last move be? Should it be Rock Slide? I don't think that Rock Slide's the best move. What do I need? What's a problem Pokemon? What is a problem Pokemon for Lando? Like Ho-Oh? Okay. But like, our SR team can fight Ho-Oh for the most part. Um, the wide guard users, Ferrothorn. Like, it's either knockoff 
I like Rock Tomb. Yeah, we're just gonna go with Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb is my, my move of choice on this guy. Everyone glad to catch a stream live again. Recently fallen in love with Passamon. What role would it fill in a VDC team? Very similar role to this mind shell right here. But they're both very good. My Lugia set, and you may be thinking, that's a why are you using a Lugia? Lugia is actually super good if you play it correctly. It's super good if you play it correctly, but how do we want to play it? I don't actually want Tailwind. I don't think I need it. I'm gonna go Roost. Does it just get Recover? Yeah, hell, it way better. I'm actually thinking about this. Parablast can check, like, Amoongus' uh, incense for the most part. Like, what a Pokemon that would give us problems if our Amoongus has Aeroblast? Something with Steel type and can we get Earth Power? There we go. That's good coverage. Alright, so we got our Pokemon here. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna add Eevees. What does it say? It says, it says put him in attack. That's so incorrect. All right, so Super Fang. I want to always be faster than my Groudon. So I already am. My problem is Luga, I can't get a Moldescale one because it's Japanese event only. I mean, it's still possible to get it. Just got to trade for it. I should do this for now. 96 is such a unique speed tier. We've outspeed base 95s. Like Tapu Lele and stuff like that, but like those are always full speed anyways, and I don't want to be full speed, but I also want to be like really bulky on the special side. So like I'm gonna try this and see if it works. But then like I don't know if I actually want Super Fang anymore. So like I'm gonna I think I'm gonna cut it. And we're bested, so like I can't put that many other options there. I don't really want Iron Head. I already have U-turn. I think we just put Iron Head. Just for chip, maybe? Oh, let's see what else you get. Let's see what else we actually can get. Because, like, yeah, I'm just going to throw Electro on there, I think. Yep. Maximum over speed control. This doesn't actually need to be all that. There's a calc that I have cool. somewhere. Yeah, that looks about right. And then the rest just go in here. Perfect. Actually, I want some. I want some. Uh, I want some H. I want some speed. Uh, 111. What's the best site to look at for speed tiers? Pokemon Tower. Uh, it's hard to say. I think that like you should just learn your speed tiers by looking at stuff like this. Like I just use Showdown. I'm just gonna go two things. Fuck it. This is a little bit lazy, but it's all right. And I still like Modest. I really like the Modest because, like, you hit hard with that eruption, guys. Fix that. Put that D-Pulse on there. And the Lugia, its item and its ability are very unique. Because what do we want to put on this thing? I actually think I like Leftovers. As weird as that sounds. Because, like, Lefties can really help with the multi-scale. And I'm going to need a lot of specialty. Looks about right. So we got Mind Shout with Faint Fake Out, U-Turn, Knock Off. Togemaru with Fake Out, U-Turn. So we can look at this. U-Turn, U-Turn, Volt Switch, U-Turn. You see how this team's going to work out? We don't have Tailwind. I don't think we actually need it because we have Speed Control, Speed Control, Speed Control. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. This team might be a little bit hard to play. And this team can have a lot of problems with opposing Togemaru's, but that's why we have like Landris, Groudon. 
Uh, we have a lot of bit of, we have a little bit of discharge spam here too. I actually really like that. I kind of want to put discharge here. Did I do that? No, I'm not. I want to, but I'm not. All right. Anyways, the Lele is gonna be a big issue. I think we're just gonna leave something in U-turn in the Coco, like protect U-turn in the Coco. So like, I might just go like Lando, and then U-turn into my Coco from there with something like like Toga maybe, because Toga can like really threaten here. Like this is a good lead. Uh, it's not great against Groudon, but that's why we have a Lando. And then I think we still bring like Coco is still a good Pokemon here, even though he has a Lake Groudon. Like, these Pokemon are great for Sid. Maybe I go... Lando... Maybe I just go Lando. Groudon, Heart Switch, and Coco. Yeah. Actually, I don't need Coco then. Lando... I'm gonna try this. No, we're supposed to bring Mineshell! Fuck! Alright. I'm gonna bring Mineshell... I want to know if it's, I want to know if it's Scarf Lele though. There's no way to really know. Mineshell doesn't have any uh, speed control. Mineshell, this is a really, really bad matchup for Mineshell, by the way. Let's go with those two. All right, no Groudon. No, sorry, no, uh, we're not going to be bringing um, Landorus here, even though I really wanted to. Show me that Zern. Zern King, wow, look at that. Maximum greed right there. gonna uh fake out we're gonna potentially trade fake outs here wow switching in i mean that's fine i fake out of that slot anyways and i'm bolt switching so i'm gonna have to fake out. all right he's not cool that's the correct play he should just go for a hit on to the mind show i think unless like he's hitting the coco assuming that uh he might hit the coco with like a double edge which is why this is the right play yep look at that mitigation yo I really think that is a Scarfed Lele. So we're going to switch back in our Scarfed Coco. Go for a little bit of a trick -a here. And I think I might just pop a Calm Mind here. He could Moonblast. Sorry, he could uh, Shadow Balls, but I think that's okay. I think he's going to go for a Scarfed, like, Psy Shock over there. Or, like, a, maybe a Moonblast onto the Mind Shout. And so we're just going to switch out. Save our Sash for later. We can always, like, really pin that uh, Xerneas if we, need to be, if we need be. There's the Moonblast over there. I just called that. And the double edge. Wow, he just nuked that slot. Yo, he's so greedy. All right, so we do know that that's a scarf lately, though. So that means he's he's hella useless. Uh, I think I'm actually going to use uh, recover this turn and just pop an eruption. Because I think he's going to hit here and hit there. And so I want to hit there, hit there, soak damage, uh, recover back up. Hopefully I'll be at full after my lefty's tick. There's Moonblast right in the Lukia. Soften it up. Soften it up. Yo, it's like I play the game, chat. It's like I play the game. It's like I play the game. And the biggest eruption you ever seen in your life. I'll take it. Yeah, he said he was fine with Z Tailwind going up. I mean, I guess. Right, so we got two Ubers over here. Chilling like villains. I have a mind shot in the back with Faint. I mean, I'm go for the eruption. Um, and probably just Aeroblast the Groudon. Zern's a problem, but we do have, like... Look at that special D. It's huge. Oh, we're so fast! You ever seen something that fast? Big damage. We outspeed that Zern. Wow. Geomancy? That's okay. I think I can uh, KO with Aeroblast here. A plus one. P-Blades. Yo, Ugi is immune. And he missed! Yo, we take those all the way to the bank, yo. We outspeed his Groudon, so, like, I'm just gonna Eruption. And Aeroblast. So, like, if he... Watch how this goes. Moonblast isn't going to do a ton, a ton. Oh, special Attack Drop really, really sucks there. That's really, really not good. But we're going to be able to get the Zern off the board. Zern goes down. And I just don't see how Groudon beats Lugia here. Fire Punch. I mean, that's your best shot, Chief. But, like, I don't know. Last time I checked. Last time I checked... Lugia be taking those. Lugia be taking those. So... Pretty decent first win. Uh, we just didn't really use Mineshell that much. So I'm going to go into another one, and we are going to use Mineshell on this one, I promise. Look at that team. I like that. I like that team a lot. All right, Mimikyu's a little bit of a problem. 
uh, Metagross is a little bit of a problem. I think that uh, Coco is a great beat here. I think that like Coco Mindshout is great. Lugia is the thick Uber. Yeah, Lugia is really, really good. It's not that great against a, uh, one of those. I think Mindshout is great here, though. What would be worth fainting? Groudon? Yeah. Let's try these two. I still want to bring Coco. Yeah, I think Groudon is a good pick. Uh, if you play it correctly. Alright, let's go. Yeah, so you have a favorite mon. It is Butterfree, my friend. Butterfree is my favorite. But today we're using Mind Shao. Show me that Groudon Mimikyu. Yveltal. Okay. That's cool. I'm just going to U-turn the Mimikyu and pop a... I'm going to actually Z-move it. Just because I want it gone and EQ won't do it. And I really can't just have him get Chick-fil-A. I mean, if he has Sash, he has Sash. You know what I mean? And what do we want to come in with? I think that Tapu Coco is better. Because, like, if he's Sash, we just lose. You know, that's kind of how this game is going to go down. Foul play will not KO me. Almost, Chief. Please don't be Sash. Please don't be Sash. That's right. We take those out. Had to do it, guys. Had to do it. And so now I have big uh, Coco energy to fight that Yveltal. Uh, if you want to send out Groudon, like, Groudon doesn't want to fight Lando. So, like, we'll see. We will see. There's the Groudon, yo. Groudon doesn't want to fight Lando last time I checked. I don't think that thing has Protect, and he doesn't have any ground types he can switch to, so I'm actually gonna... I think we're just gonna Discharge. But I kinda wanna Volt Switch. I could D-Gleam too. Like, if I Volt Switch back into Mind Shell, I know it'd break my Sash, but I think that's actually still the right play. Actually, what if I just want, like, Volt Switch there? And Rock Tomb, just to like get that guy off the board. Hopefully it gets it off the board. I'm not intimidated. I can move Mind Shell. I want it off the board. I wanted them to be able to go for Oh Snarl. Oh, almost! Lando! OP! Come on, please, please KO this thing. Oh, he's so fast! Good thing, good thing. Oh, and he missed. Yo, we take those. Mind Shell coming in humongous right now. And then we go for fake out rock tombs. We go for faint rock tombs. We get a rock tomb up. It's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, he outspeeds my Lando, but I think we're just gonna trade fake outs. And I remember Mineshout. The good thing about Mineshout is it's such a high base speed, guys. So we're able to go for so many cool plays. So if Fake Out is Incineroar. You see, his Incineroar is going to try and flinch right there. So we try to use a Fake Out. He Fire Punches. Mineshout goes down. But remember, all we needed to do to win this game was lower his Groudon's speed. And now that his Groudon's speed is lowered, well, let me show you my little friend here. My Groudon. Ain't no slouch. Look at that big EP over there. And uh, I think I'm just going to U turn because I can just cycle those forever. Or you just want to rock to him again, just in case. Nah, I'm just going to U-turn. He might protect. Hey, that's fine. What are you going to do, kill the Lando? Let me bring in my Coco. Let me bring in my Coco, Chief. Like, what do you got with that Incineroar right now? That's totally fine. Perfect. This is where, remember on the team bidding how I originally wanted to use, uh, what is it, Nature's Madness? This is the reason why. I'm just going to D-Gleam. Just to soften that ground up just a little bit in case my Earth Power is not enough. But I think he's using a highly offensive Groudon. Yep. And FB, yo. And Coco. That's, yo, the Coco Eevee spread. Coco Eevee spread. Yo, he forfeits. Look at the Eevee spread. Look at, look at the HP. We live, boys. We live. That's what I'm talking about, yo. Eevees are important. Like, every once in a while, yeah, you have 252s. You have 252s. But, like, Eevee spreads are important. Guys, I promise you they're important. Gotta put that bulk in there. The reason we put the points in HP over other stats like defenses uh, is because like Coco has such a low base HP. You want to max out the low base HP because uh, you can mitigate some of that damage. But yeah, we take those. And that game really shut off Mindshow. Mindshow really came in. It was a solid lead. Uh, it said our opponent's fake outers couldn't really lead correctly. We were able to U-turn the Mimikyu, uh, deal with the Mimikyu, and then when he finally sent out his fake out users, Mindshow was able to fake out the fake out users before they had a chance to do anything. And if you look at our Mindshow moveset, it's a little bit unique, right? Like, why is knockoff on here? There's so many Z moves. There's so many red orbs. Mindshow has knockoff to knock off Xerneas' power herb before it can Geo. So if you knock off on the Xerneas, it's going to have to hard cast that Geomancy. Uh, your teammate has effectively two turns to do whatever you want with it. And then you can also U-turn out next turn because it has to hard cast it into something like your Scarf Coco to help deal with it. So it's pretty good. This is the best I can do with Mindshow on such short notice. I hope you like it. I'm going to leave a code for you guys to use this team yourself. Uh, I highly recommend trying out this Lugia set as well. It's very, very good.